bit of fault finding for Lee. The customer just said he has changed some of his own light switches and sockets and light fittings. Colchester Kawasaki's down the road. I feel like Luke's my tour guide. Wired a bit random. One of the reasons why it's not good to do electrics if you're not qualified. Got a better beard than me. Do you know on uh, Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> 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 right, morning guys. Uh, me and Luca up in Colchester. We've got uh, EICR to do. It's a townhouse, so we've got three stories. It is a plastic consumer unit, so I'm guessing it's 17th edition. It's got um, RCD protection on one half of the board. Doesn't look like too many circuits, a couple of socket circuits, things like a water heater and a cooker. So we'll walk you around, show you the process. If Luke's got any questions, um, he can ask me and I, hopefully I can help him along with his testing and it might help you guys as well. Uh, estimated age, what do you reckon, 15 years? All right, so I'm just at the meter cupboard, just checking the earthing system so we can see we've got a PME um, TNCS system. We've also got a main isolator in the meter cupboard so that will go down as 60947-3 on the paperwork. We've got 25 mil tails, we've got a 16 mil earth and if you look below we can see we've got a 10 mil bond to our gas and it's on a 100 amp main fuse so that's all good stuff for the beginning of the paperwork so I'll go fill that out now. All right, so just out by the front door, there's a panel that's pushed in on the external light. The PIR sensor or the motion center, it's all smashed. So um, we'll code that down and get that replaced on the remedials. Okay, so this morning I did say it looked like only half of the circuits were RCD protected, but that was just at a quick glance. It's a bit of an unusual setup. So we've actually got the main switch in the middle of the board and then one half we've got an RCD feeding these circuits. The other half we've got this RCD feeding these circuits so a bit of a strange arrangement but um, nothing wrong with it they're all RCD protected so yeah we'll just test one side and then we'll test the other. Yeah, see that blue one that's your income on? Yeah. And that becomes there's so, a valve there you see it? Yeah. Look, that's your stop cup. This blue pipe under the sink is your incoming water, so it doesn't need bonding. We we have something to plug in your Wi-Fi router if you'd like, if that would help you to uh, keep yeah, it to keep it running constantly. Yeah. yeah, I'll just go and grab it. Right, so now I'll show you on here. So Lisa asked me to do the RCD test. Um, so obviously check the RCD, that's type A, type AC. Connect to the earth and line neutral into the RCD. Put on auto. That should run through the whole cycle. So you can do end to end on the sockets. Um, turn the sockets, lock it off. Take out the lives from the MCB. End to end on the lives. Mm -hmm. Then you can do the same on the neutral, same mm -hmm. on the earths. Mm -hmm. Get the uh, crocodile clip and do the crossover of the live to earths. Go around and see what uh, sockets are Highest off on that reading. circuit. So then we can say, right, that does ground and first or whatever. Um, and we can get our R1, R2 then. But just, just do one socket circuit at a time and then we'll move on to the next. Six, seven point two two is the highest. Two two it says one two three. Well, all those are still on. Okay, so we need to. I need to change that on the labelling. Yeah. So that is just the kitchen sockets. So that is sockets. Well, it might do it well. Can it might possibly do the rooms above on this side of the house, the back. Now he tells me. Well, I haven't been upstairs yet. That's the number one, seven. Eight. 
Can move that. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Taking this off ready for when the cooker is getting tested. Always got a long bent screw in the kitchen somewhere. I'm getting the protein in. Luke said he was going to be good. And then the first thing he done yesterday was order five guys to the job. I just hate down lights. Yeah. Oh, jeez. As usual, always good to check your down lights on a the property. They've been done neat, but wrong, because you've just got single insulated cables on show. You're not supposed to see any of these cables. They're supposed to all be into the box, which I know manufacturers don't really think of electricians because why they didn't make that cover that long so it covers it all, I don't know. Like they give you the smallest little amount to second fix into, but um, yeah, what make are they? Green lighting, never heard of it. So yeah, whoever's done it's tried to do it neat, but you can see where the clamps clamp down, it's going to squash onto the insulation, which could cause issues with the testing. So uh, we'll take a picture of that and that will be a remedial to be fixed in the kitchen. Luke's just getting the R1, R2 on the cooker circuit. So I'm just gonna go around and take a couple of accessories off, check the wiring behind. It's good to just do a percentage throughout the house and it gives you a bit of an idea how the wiring is, whoever's done the second fixing, what their connection's like, if it's just been lashed in or if it's done neat. Um, just by looking at the board and behind a few accessories, you get a bit of a picture of what um, condition it's all in. Um, so it just helps with the testing. That, look at that. <laughs> it's like witch's nose. <laughs> Luke just tested the cooker switch. Luke basically broke the back box Luke, slug when he was doing the R1R2. Hey, yeah. I just go and hold your hands up and go, I've broke the back box slug. Right, so we're testing the cooker switch <laughs> and it wouldn't push back. I think Luke stuffed all these marksmen's behind there. I think he's been hiding them. Basically, the back box lug was bent and it's just come off. So socket fixer actually sent me these to try. So I'm going to give them a go. Basically, I'll show you what we do, but that wedges in. You've got two little screws which expand it into the gap and then the um, faceplate screw will just screw into that. So let's give it a go and see how they work. Okay, so that's it side on. So that will push into the box. These little screws will go top and bottom and that'll expand the edges out into the box. And then you can see you've got somewhere for your faceplate screw to screw into in the middle. So let's see how well it fits in there and um, if it gets us out of trouble. Why is that not even fit as a standard? That's it, send them back. There's a bit sticking out for that to hook onto. Just gonna bend that lug out my way. So I've managed to wedge that in, so now I need to put these screws in the top and bottom and hopefully that will hold that in place and we'll see if our uh, lug fits in there. See if that goes on. I think it would be good for like sockets or light switches, but always seems to be cooker switches that I seem to find the lugs are snapped on. Why people put a 10 mil into a one gang box, I do not know. Um, I just always stick it on a double box with like a socket on with the cooker switch or just get one of the double cooker switches just so you can get a swoop inside for the uh, cable but um, yeah got us out of trouble this time so um, good to keep a few on the van. A bit right. of fault finding for Lee. I just want to see if that's this cable ready. 
Yeah. So that's that cable. So that's a two way to there. Oh, wow. How have we got black and red cable as well? Is that? Let me no. get this one out of the way for a second. Right, so we've got a cable up here that I'm connecting that's not doing nothing. That grey was coming back live. Right, so before we come in to start the RCR, the customer just said some of the lights aren't working with the switches and he has changed some of his own light switches and sockets and light fittings. Been trying to suss it out and it's all over the place. Thought I'd just drop the light fitting down to try to trace some cables back. As soon as I pulled this down, you can just see it's been left up with the pendant. There's cables taped up, there's other cables going in. It's just like one of the reasons why it's not good to do electrics if you're not qualified. Um, it seems simple because you think things are colour coded, but you need to really know what's going together and why. Um, so I'm going to have to try to strip this one out and way go it and make it correct and we'll have to check some of the other light fittings and if they're the same we'll have to just put it down on the observations to come back and rectify because um, when you're testing you can't really be going around and fixing everything as you go um, but yeah it's not the greatest um, good try but uh, don't touch it next time <laughs> that's the live from the switch the easiest thing to do, strip it back to basics, find out where the cable's going. So I've got a free core down there, so I'm going to build it and make sure that's that one. I've got probably a feed in, a feed out, and a loop over to the other light. So I'll mark them up what they're doing, and I'll just one by one connect what I need to. So I'm going to take that light fitting down as well, go get some earth sleeve and some way goes. These earths was all twisted, so I'm probably going to cut these and re-strip it so it's just a nice bit of stripped cable to work with. And uh, yeah, let's get these lights back working. You've got your two-way from that switch to that switch, so... I'm gonna need that light taken off and see what one of these three goes to that light. I feel like this might go up to the light as well. So that, what, if you maybe touch them two together. Mm -hmm. Are you touching? Nothing. 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 Unless that's doing the outside light. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'll just put that out the way. So, if you turn the lighting circuits on, I feel like we can probably ditch that black cable. That's just a normal switch line then. Take this one off and what are we saying? Pendant up there? Pendant above the fitting? Now, I've got rid of the black and our greys are oh, switch line. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Hang on, turn it on. Off. That's yeah, working. Fixed it. So I don't know why they put a two way down to that. All I want to check is that might be doing the outside light. We might have to take a common over to that switch and then that will be sending. That's pretty much broken, I guess. You have to turn it off to see. From the in light, uh, inside light switch, where it's just a massive mess up, um, I've fixed the two internal lights. There's one cable left. I just want to identify and see if it's doing this outside light and make sure it's connected upright so this still works. Them together. Yeah, hey, easy outside light. So that's them. All we want is a permanent live, a neutral, and an earth. So um, I'll take that light back down. That free core, that spare cable, will connect into the neutral. The black one. And we'll connect into the neutral for here. So if, I don't know why someone put brown sleeve on it because yeah. it's actually a. We'll get a neutral from there through to here, and then we'll just connect the live into the column of one. Um, and Last it won't be on a switch then, it's just on the PIR. Mm. That cable. I've put this down on the uh, 
report that this is broken. So that switch was totally wired wrong after investigating all the cables and where they're going to. Um, so it's not part of the EICR, but it was down for us to fix them. So that's why we're doing it. I've sorted the first two switches out. This cable goes through to the outside light. This cable was connected to the neutral and that's the spare core that goes up to the light in the free core on earth. But for some reason, someone had put some brown sleeving on it. So I'll take that off. We'll put some blue tape on to ident identify that as neutral. So that will take a neutral from the light through to the outside light. And then what we can do is we can connect this into L1 of the third switch. We'll link across to the common. So then they've got the outside light on a switch, but if they want it left on a PIR, they can keep the switch down or if they want to change the light because it's broken to a non-PIR version, it's just working by the switch then. Basically, you've got a free gang switch here. It was all just sort of wired a bit random where the client had changed the switch and they might have mixed up a couple of cables. I knew that this first switch is the two way to upstairs and that was working, so I left that one. These other two, they were all over the place, so we might have got a couple of cables mixed around. So the easiest thing for me to do was just disconnect them all, trace back where each cable goes to. So I had a free core going up to the light fitting. I had another free core going to the light switch at the other side of the hallway and I had a two core on earth going to the outside light. So once I knew what, what cable did, I could then work out where I needed them to be connected. So this switch now is doing the hallway and it's two way with the other switch. I was a bit confused why there was a free core on earth going from the light fitting down to the switch and it ended up being, they were bringing a neutral down from the light fitting which has been wagoed through to the outside light. So that's okay. I've linked that through and put a bit of blue tape on it. And then all I've had to do for the outside light then is I've took a common across to the third light switch and the live that goes to the outside light in the bottom. So that's that issue resolved and we can carry on with the EICR now. With a tester, please. They've tagged House Rescue. Do you mind the tester, please? Oh, I think they're supposed to tag you. Also, where did you get other storage bits? Starting out my own Caddy storage build. TIA. Yeah. Matt Tingle. Oh, same light thing. What are we saying? We're going to say they're. Enclosed or hanging out? I'm gonna say hanging out. Let me know in the comments. What are you saying, cameraman? Enclosed or hanging out? Enclosed. You think they're done good? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Need to take a picture of. this over on the neutral one and they've come on now so that's what it's down to this so as you can see the lights are all up jeez <laughs> yeah. jeez all right guys so that's the eicr done um it didn't go too bad a little bit fiddly fixing the lights but hopefully i managed to show a bit of what we sorted out with that found a few other little remedials around so that will be sent on the report of things to get fixed we're going to go grab some lunch and seeing as we're in colchester me and Luke are both really into our motorbikes and Colchester Kawasaki's down the road. So they've actually got a calf. We're going to go there, have a look at some bikes and um, have a bite sweet. Hey, 
real one. Acropovic exhaust on it. Do you know why they do this? Yes, they have to have this just so the number plate's further in the back wheel, which is stupid. We've got a tank on it. That's why I'd put the new model. Sadly, I had to sell it to buy a house, which is a bit boring. I've never really been keen on them, but I do like the little double exhaust. It's so weird, the place in here. What's this? It's like I say, it's like back street. It's like... <laughs> and they have more up here. What? There's a cinema. I'll be there, there. Be there in a couple of months, mate, while you're working. A little cinema. Look at this. Buy a mug. Yeah? I don't have a mug at home. I quite like these. I didn't realise all this stuff's for sale. Not even that table, 275. <laughs> I'd love some cool little bits of in my house. Yeah. That Carl Fogarty picture. Oh, there was actually a barber shop there. Yeah, I see it. Oh, they've got a cinema. What's this bit off the top? More bikes. More bikes. Yeah. I feel like Luke's my tour guide. So up here we have the youth selection of motorcycles if you'd like to purchase. Are these used ones? Yeah. So I have ordered a burger, but I couldn't resist. It was actually four mini eggs on there. But it's, yes, it's definitely 10 out of 10 this summer. Right? Right guys, we've just had a big feast and uh, <laughs> currently got the meat sweats so um, <laughs> we're going to go look at some bikes and we'll catch you next time.